So basically, YOLO was a project that I hopped on five years after I started my acting career. And it was a very big opportunity I had to take advantage of. I started acting five years before YOLO. So it was more like a little recommendation with an audition. So we had an audition. That's how we all landed our roles. Nobody was called and given the role. I was only recommended to go for the audition. I wasn't recommended for the role because it wasn't working like that back then. I don't know if that's how it works now, but back then it wasn't working like that. You had to audition no matter who you are, no matter where you've reached or what kind of work you've done. It's a new project, it's a new company. So you need to prove your worth because what you have done previously may not tally with what they want now. So we had to audition individually and yeah, that chance came along the line. <clears throat> I took full advantage of it and yeah, it really helped my career five years down the line. So five years before that, I was on a couple of projects. After that, five years down the line, it's been massive. It's really boosted my career and there's only one there's only one way from here, it's only going up from here. So I'm grateful for that opportunity and you can only work hard from here. For such an opportunity to come at a very tender age for me it was it wasn't easy because I was only entering it for the very first time and lots of people enter such lots of people get such opportunities when they're a bit older but I was way younger when I had it so I had to do a whole lot of research I had to get some counseling I needed to talk to people to make sure that I'm not going to go the wrong way so as young as I was when I had the opportunity I had to make sure that I talked to people I do a lot of homework on my own to make sure that I just follow the right path. So, I'm, yeah, as I said, I'm very grateful that I had this opportunity at a very young age. Yeah, thank you. I believe when it comes to performances, if you have a bad day, you're going to know from within that you've had a bad day. So if I'm not able to deliver to what I feel will make the viewers happy, from within, I'll know very well that I've let myself down. And once I've let myself down, it means I've let my audience down. So there's always that homework that needs to be done to make sure that even if it's not on your best day, you're going to deliver what they want to see or what they like to see. So if I'm to perform and it doesn't go according to plan or it doesn't go according to the viewer's um, joyous discretion, I would, I would feel bad about it. I would wish it never happened, but we learn from our mistakes in this life and we move on. So. I can't control it so once i'm given the opportunity i'll make sure that i do it the right way i'll make sure that i do it to make sure they are entertained if it doesn't go that way i'll be down and i know they'll be down but that's life it doesn't always go the way you want it so we we'll take it as it comes and we'll make the best out of it but there's always that mindset that where we have towards what we do to make sure that we're going to put in our best no matter the mood or the situation we find ourselves in so i would never want to leave a bad impression on the faces or in the minds of the viewers they always need to go home saying oh that was a good performance no matter the role you've played they need to understand and they need to appreciate what you've done so i would always want to put in enough work to make sure that i deliver what they want to see if it doesn't happen that way we move i'm super proud super excited about aloe vera because i always say in any interview i've done after doing that film that this is one of its kind we've never seen anything like this before and yes once again we auditioned to get the roles i was mentioned i auditioned whoever was mentioned auditioned that's basically how it worked and i'm very grateful for that opportunity i'm always grateful to peter for casting me as i said earlier and we are hoping that this film will go on the international market this film would receive international appeal because we're also putting in the hardware we're also making a conscious effort to put out content that will challenge the international front and we see our brother and sister countries around africa who are putting several content that are challenging out there so with aloe vera and with what's yet to come we are also going to be up there with them and yeah we should pick awards from the international stages as i said we need that recognition because we're putting in the hard work so i'm grateful for that opportunity that came it's it's only been a triumph i haven't had any regrets maybe we had a little uh, a couple of challenges filming but at the end of the day we knew what we wanted we set a target and then we achieved it and the result is mind-blowing so we're only grateful and hoping that it will go beyond the universe if possible <laughs> The internet has affected my life as an individual much than an actor. 
or should I say it's balance. It's basically affected me because before then we knew how we need to we needed to seek information. We knew how we needed to get information from people. But the internet has really come to make everything much easier. So most often I'm not I'm a very uh, I'm an enthusiast of sports, especially soccer. So I'm always reading sports news. I'm always reading articles, document. I'm always watching documentaries. I, I do all these things online. So the internet has really affected me. It also helps me to, you know, sharpen my skills. It, that, that's what it basically does for everybody. Those who are um, working online, trying to sell stuff. Everybody who's trying to do business online has been affected by the internet. So. If anybody should tell you he hasn't been affected by internet, that's a that's a plain lie. Because why would they why would they want to go back to the internet? What are they going to do there? So we'll be under social media, everybody's using social media for almost everything. So it has really it has really impacted my life in a positive way because I get information faster and you know I use it to help myself, help people around me. So it's been good. It's, it's had a positive influence on me. Those those that has had an, uh, it's had a negative influence on me. Well. Everybody has their life to live. Everybody has the choices to make. So for me, internet has really been positive for me because it helped me make some decisions. It helped me learn a whole lot, meet lots of people. You know, the internet's been positive. Yeah. Basically, a day in my life, um, if I have to shoot, then it means I'm up earlier than the usual time I'm up. I do my morning prayers, which is like constant. We're human. Sometimes we make mistakes. We don't forget, but sometimes, you know, yeah. But it's constant. Um, very. I'm consistent on that, and then I work out a little. You know, I plan the day before, so based on my planning for the for the next day, that's what's going to determine how my day is going to go. But if I have nothing doing, if I have nowhere going after workout, do a little reading, writing, watching documentaries, watching films, video gaming. I need to like I'm basically a filmmaker so I need to do stuff that has to do with film so always trying to sharpen my skills if not then I'm out on the field working so that's basically how a day in my life is either of the two either at home chilling or out working chilling so yeah chilling all through I don't believe in friends with benefits although I know people who do that i don't believe in one night or day stand you see we are humans we falter sometimes there are some things we've experienced in the past there are some things we've learned from but i don't think anybody in their right senses should come and say they prefer any of the previous ones if well i i, I was given birth to i was raised as a responsible young person that's who i've grown to be now so help me god as long as i live it's basically going to be the same way it's only going to get better I was raised in a very responsible manner where I've been taught, you know, I've been taught, sorry, I've been taught to do the right thing. And what is the right thing? The right thing is to have a partner, not partners. So the right thing is a relationship. And for you to have a good relationship, every relationship differs. So, you know, it depends. Everybody knows what they want. Everybody's going to go in for what they want. But I'm going to go in for a relationship because I know the kind of person that I am. And it's going to be a strong one because that's how I was taught. So I have to continue living in that way. So one night stand, no. Um, what do you call it? Friends with benefits, no. Relationship, yes. It, it makes you responsible. It shows that you're the man. I've had one dream growing up. Basically to affect change, to impact lives, to leave a good name. Growing up, I've only understood a good name is better than riches. You can have all the money in the world, but if you have a bad name, it's a very terrible move. I want to be remembered for the good work I've done. I want to be remembered for impacting and changing people's lives. So, as I said, basically, and I always say I'm a filmmaker and I'm always going to be a filmmaker. So how am I going to touch people's lives through film? In the next two, three, five, ten years, as long as I have life, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to impact lives through my films. I'm going to work with lots of people going to meet people i'm going to give people opportunities i'm going to bless people when i have the blessings myself it's basically going to be me giving out me reaching out because that's who i've been that's who i am so decades from now if god gives me life it's basically going to be me impacting and changing lives in the best way that i can especially through film thank you 
I'm human. It's only natural that I'm human and I'm a male. Yeah, so it's only natural that ladies are going to not worry you, but ladies are going to be around you. That's the same way that females also have males around them. This is no question where we need to zone into particular people. Females are all around males. Males are all around females. So I won't say females worry me or they put pressure on me. Neither do I put pressure on females as well. So yeah, we know lots of people. We talk to lots of people. We don't we don't deal with pressure or we don't assert to pressure from people. No. I don't I, I don't have anybody putting pressure on me or I don't feel like some people are trying to invade my space or I, neither do I also feel like I'm trying to invade people's space. So it's more like acquaintance, friendship. That's if that's where it is. But if it's not that too, whoever you are, if you're a fan, I see you. Hi, how you doing? It ends there. There's not really what maybe you people may be thinking, what others will be thinking that the women are all over you or people are, no, that's not really it. Sometimes when I say it's hype, more calm, more calm with you. It's not really like that. I believe in my confidence. I believe in my originality. I believe that anytime I'm given a task, I want to make sure that I do it my way. Of course, we have guidelines. Of course, we are told how it's supposed to be done, but there needs to be that Midas touch. There needs to be, you need to have your modus operandi. There's a way that you're supposed to go about it that people are going to see it and immediately associate it with you. This is his work. This is how he did it. That is how, uh, that, that, that's basically my unique selling point. I always want to put that touch of me in whatever I do for people to be able to pinpoint that. Even if they're only listening to it, they'll know that this was done by me or this was said by me. That kind of thing. I don't... I don't, I don't know how others do it, but that's how I do I believe in my confidence and with the guidelines we're given, just putting your touch, your special touch in. Yeah, people are going to notice you with the way you go about things. So that's basically how I, that's basically my unique selling point. I always want to be original on whatever I do. I want to make it happen, basically. It depends. If you are seeing me from afar, obviously it's going to be a wave and maybe a shout out, like you shout me out or something. If you're close, we could take photos, you know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It basically depends on where the person is or where we are. That's what's going to determine what uh, reaction we are going to give. But yeah, feel free to walk up, feel free to talk to me. I take pictures all the time if people want to. Uh, yeah, handshakes. Marina, we're in the, what do you call it? and the pandemic era so we are protecting ourselves but before then handshakes you know if you put in a, a, um, a striking performance when people see something and people rush to you to hug you it's normal i mean the, the 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 reception will always come it will come from a positive angle so people should just feel free around. just don't go beyond your border i believe in self-respect you know that you're a fan of the person it doesn't mean you're friends it doesn't mean you you're on that level, that personal level. So you should just know how you're going to approach. And I mean, the reception you're going to get is going to be a good one.